People, is Premier One Fence worth it? What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in today. I'm gonna show you a quick review, my review, on the Premier One fencing. I have these guys back behind me, these little goats who have eaten down their grass all in their pen, so I bought some Premier One fencing. I do have the uh, charger with it, which was separate, but it's a solar one, and I want to show you guys how easy it is to hook up this Premier One fencing and to be able to move your goats from one place to another and not have to worry about them, so let's get to work. guys I have the fence energized as you can see I got all my goats in here all of five minutes literally no work at all people it was that easy to hook this stuff up I'm gonna bring you over here to the charger and show you it is a solar powered uh, charger guys this is about 120 feet of fence so as you can see I have a big section back here this is my neighbor's goat by the way it's his first time in an electric fence so we'll see how that goes but uh they seem to like it gives them on fresh grass whenever I want so uh Let's check this out over here, this little charger, and see what it's all about. So here's the charger. It does up to 10 miles. It's an American Farmworks uh, solar power charger. All you do is hook on this, from right here, this piece, you hook, hook in a wire all the way up to your electric fence, which I have hooked up over here. And then over here, on this one, the green one, I have a ground wire, as you can see right there. It goes around and hooks into a little ground rod. So that's what energizes this fence, and as you can see, the goats, they're usually on this side. Now they're on this side over here, enjoying their new fresh grass. There's a little bit of water in there they can drink as well, but guys, easy as that. This fence just goes right around and all the way back that way towards the barn.
Oh man, people, I tell you what, this fence is well worth the money. I spent about $150 on the solar charger just so I could have it anywhere in my yard and not have to run an extension cord. But the fence itself was about $120. I got that on Amazon. And I tell you what, that is the best, close to around $300 I have spent. I can take my animals from one part of the yard to the other with no hassle, just shake a little uh, food for them. The goats will come running and chase you right into the fence, close it up, charge it up, and you're ready to go. All that within five minutes, guys. It was that easy. Overall, I would say that the Premier One fencing is a must have for any homesteader. Like I said, it is the easiest thing you could possibly do to put up a fence to keep your animals in. Not only for uh, livestock, but you can use it for dogs if you want to keep them in a small little section for a little while. Um, sometimes I have people over and I don't want the dogs to jump on them if I'm out by my fire pit area. So I'll block them in and the dogs will stay in there. They know not to get it. It takes one, maybe two zaps before they realize that they shouldn't mess with the fence. But guys, it's very humane. It's not gonna hurt them too bad. It just gives them a quick zap and they know not to mess with it again. But guys, I tell you what, $300, best investment I could have had as a homesteader. Sorry for the wind today, people. It is extremely windy today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting, and guys, share these videos on Facebook so everybody on Facebook land can see Jared Crocker. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.